what else we got? Uh, hmm. Your turn. I'm going maybe a little bit more to the video game area. So uh, again, with Mario uh, video games, I thought whatever was pretty good with Toad. Mm-hmm. The Toad, you know, with the little Princess Peach and everything, and always like panicking and with a screechy voice. I was like, oh, that's a little distinct. Maybe I could do it. So we'd be go like, Toad, ah, oh no! So it's like a little high pitch, but it sounded like cringy, and I was like, I know I could do that. Oh, yeah. Because I do it all the time when I'm like trying to get up, trying to wake up a, on a Monday for school mm-hmm. and everything. I just sound like that. Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, I could do that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, do another one. Another one. Oh, okay. Uh, another one. You said you do Mario and Luigi. Yes. I. I think I can do that. Not as good, you know, but I'm pretty close to it, I'm pretty sure. So that's why I put it on my list. I go like, Mario time! Yahoo! Oh, yes. Let's yes. go! See, Mario games were one, of, were one of the few video games I could get into. Because, I mean, like, I mean, like, my brother likes a lot more video games than I do. But I'm not a huge gamer, but I do like Mario games, so. Yeah, I mean. I played a lot of as a kid. As a kid, yeah, because it's a little family, you know, thing yeah, that they can they, play all the time with. Yeah, I think they're they're super funny. Like my brother and I have a funny commentary that we do every time we play video games. We, we've been I've been telling him I'm like, you know, if I knew how to like record like our gameplay, then we would make a really funny YouTube channel because yeah. of our all our funny stuff we put through ourselves as we're playing. But all right, so and also his brother Luigi, like. There's a few different distinct voices with Luigi, yeah. but close enough was for the Mario games. Like, uh, I'm trying to get his right tone here. It's like, Luigi time! Hey, hey! Yep. Like, wah, 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 mamma mia. <laughs> so he's, he's a little. I think personally, based on the video games over the years, his voice did change a little bit, a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure I could get maybe somewhere in between. <laughs> Whatever that sounds similar to him. So, anyway. There's people outside. Yeah. Don't want to throw <laughs> so I think I could do. I could, I don't exactly sound sing like Stitch, but I could do his laugh, like his evil maniac laugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and people like look at me weird all the time. Every time I do it, I just do it for fun. Do it. Like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not a bad impression, but his laugh was like always got to me. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, I, I can kind of see that his stitch. Yeah, I mean, it's like trying to picture stealing a car. I'm saying, yep, <laughs> he took the red one. <laughs> like, yeah. Yep, I, I watched. My brother and I watched way too much Lulu and Stitch as a kid. Yeah, that's one of our favorite movies. There you go. Okay. What do you got? So, what you got? I don't. I don't have a list. I'm just gonna go through as I remember them. Okay. So I, I've already said before I like Yu-Gi-Oh, and I also like doing some of the characters. My brother and I, for a while, have been saying it'd be really fun to do like a fan dub of Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Let me grab some water. Okay, I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna do some of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh people. Okay, I need to watch the entire Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, mm-hmm. because I hear it's pretty interesting. I know the characters, but mm-hmm. I haven't watched the entire thing, so I should get into it so yeah, I understand yeah, more. Yeah, you should get into Yu-Gi-Oh. My hair looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> you can Saturday. About, you can play about your hair. I almost have no hair. So. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. I should be allowed to have horrible hair. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so the first Yu-Gi-Oh character I'm going to do is Mokuba Kaiba. I love the Kaiba brothers. They're the, my favorite characters, so I Mokuba. Partly because I have a huge crush on Sado, but okay, okay. But anyway, I love Mokuba so much. He is so sweet. I, I am a sucker for little kids. I'm just like, I must protect this child. He needs cookies, and teddy bears, and everything good in this world. So, um, I'm gonna do. I'll do Mokuba here. You know, Sado, brother. Uh, my big brother never loses. I'm trying to think of some specific Mokuba lines, and my my mind is. Well, not, don't ask me. <laughs> I know my mind is not working this morning. I'm like I came here prepared to do Mokuba Kaiba, and then when it's come time, I'm like, no, my mind is blank. 
But yeah, I, I do, like, I, I like to book my brother all the time. My brother, I wish my brother were here. He does so many good uh, character impressions. He sounds awesome. Yeah, he is. Like, he can, he does a lot of characters that Eric Stewart dubbed back in the day. Oh, okay. And I, I'm like, I'm like, like, it, it makes me think, I'm like, like, it's like you inherited his, his voice just like Deku inherited one for all. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah, basically. We should invite him over sometime to do this. Oh, I wish he could come. He wants to be over here, but he, he's still in high school. Oh. So, yeah, he does. He does Seto, and I do Mokuba, and I'm like, together we're gonna we're gonna play the Kaiba Brothers. So he can be like Mokuba, and I'll be like, Big Brother, you're here, you're here. <laughs> that will fit, really. So, my next one, um, I'm gonna do uh, is gonna be probably I'll try to do Kasara. I love Kasara season five. I love season season five of Yu Gi Oh when they go back in time to Egypt, 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 and whatever. Um, Spoiler alert! It's pretty much common <laughs> knowledge. I'm not okay. giving actual details, but um, anyway, you know, I, I I love dragons. I love Sido Kaiba. I love dragons too. So naturally, Kasara is also a favorite character of mine. Wow. Okay. So um, I know she doesn't have too many lines but um at least not as much as i would have liked but um the one scene that i practice a lot at home is the one where she first meets seto and she's you know running through the street and she's like seto seto and she sees seto kaiba and she's like you know wait you're not seto i mean you kind of look like him i do and then, <laughs> and then she, she's like you know farewell stranger wow okay Wow. So, see, you need to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I do, I do, I really see, do. I'm actually good. Okay, another character, I'm going to just go through all my Yu-Gi-Oh! characters really fast. Like, yeah. I won't take too long, but... We, we should make a part two. We'll probably end up making a part two. Or, my, or actually, like, breaking up all our impressions into two parts. Yeah. Anyway, no, 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 leave it recording, leave it recording. I only got a small amount of time, I'm just going to delete some videos or something. What, you only have a small... Okay, fine. Yeah, you're right with two parts I'll, over. I'll, I'll just keep recording. Yeah, you can or, go or, ahead. Should I keep recording or do you want go to? Go ahead. Okay. So, um, okay, another character from Yu-Gi-Oh! that I would love to play is Taya. Taya? Uh, Where's that from? Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah. I guess so. See, a lot of See people, I'm stupid. A lot of people think she's annoying, but I like her a lot because she's such a sweetheart. She, You can tell she really cares about her friends. Um... And also, you know, people think she's annoying, but I'm just like, you know what? I know what it's like to have a huge crush on somebody that you know that you'll never be able to be with, kind of like how she's, she is with the Pharaoh. So, um, like, my brother and I will low-key just watch Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I'll just, like, repeat all of the lines in the character voices. Why do we have an audience outside? <laughs> it's a random. Are they watching us, or are they watching whatever Jenny's watching on the computer? I don't know, I, but I know. hey, we're probably getting famous by the minute right here. Yeah, there's going to be more people outside watching us. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go. Okay. Oh, wait, are you, you going to push record again, or? Yeah. Okay. Are we back? Yes, we're back. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. Okay, right, we're back. I'm still recording on my computer. Okay. I'm gonna do Taya. Um, one of my favorite Taya episodes is the one where it's in the digital world, world arc where she battles the guy from the Big Five who's like the penguin or whatever. I don't remember his name, but the, the, it's not. It's it, it sounds really it sounds weirder than it actually is. I won't spoil it for you <laughs> okay. or for anyone okay. watching who hasn't watched Yu Gi Oh. But um, it's the one where she is in like where she battles the penguin guy, and then afterwards. Yeah, you know, she's like, yeah, you know, she wins, but she's like totally freezing. And then Yugi comes, and then she sees him, and she says, "Yugi, I was almost a human ice pop." Was she? Yeah, she almost, <laughs> she she low key almost dies in that episode. So. Wow. Yeah, she, she's like, you know, Yugi. Or I also like the one. I don't remember what I don't remember which season it is, but it's the one where it's the one with Vivian. Being annoying. You're talking and so much about Yugo now. After we're done recording, to. after we're done recording, I have to go watch it now. Yes, you should. And I'll be like three weeks later. I know everything now. Yes, you should. <laughs> that way we can tell. That, that way we can like you know kind of like fan person about it together. Right. So right. okay. 
And I also like the one where, um, oh, I, I bet I can do, I bet I can do uh, all three actually from this scene. It's the one scene where Rebecca is going to duel Vivian, and um, Rebecca sees Yugi up in the through the window, and she's like, Yugi! And then Vivian's like, Hi, Yugi Poo! After I beat this little shrimp, it's all about you and me. And then he's like, ha 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 ha, and his friends are all like, you know, you know, Yogi, you're my hero. Yeah, what's your secret? And then he's like, ha ha. And then uh, Rebecca's like, you know, Yogi's here for me. And then Re and then Taya's like, you know, uh, about, you know, show no mercy, Rebecca. This Glamazon's gotta go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so like I, said, I I can't do the boys, but I can do the girls at least, sort of. I, I mean, I'm not one, one to judge. Movie. I think you did pretty good. That's one of my favorite moments. You've never watched it. I know, but I think you you did pretty good. And I'm just going to watch it and I'll be like, oh, she did probably better. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I, I love... It's one, it's one of the, my funny like, scenes that I love. Okay. Um, I, Like I said, I would I would love to play Taya so much. Her and Mokuba Kaiba. I, I've been... Like, for... I have always have a billion things in my brain. I would... I think it'd be really great if someone would write a Yu-Gi-Oh! musical. Look, if they can make a Spongebob musical and a Harry Potter musical and a Percy Jackson musical, why can't they make a Yu-Gi-Oh! musical? Like, there's even a Pokemon musical that was made like way long time ago. Really? Yeah, it's called oh, Pokemon, wow. Pokemon Live. I did I, not know that. I will never not love Pokemon Live, okay? <laughs> it's, no, like, look, seriously, just like, like, there are, there are several people in that production who went on to, after they were in Pokemon Light, they went on and did picker roles. Like, um, after Darren Dunstan played Giovanni in Pokemon Live, it was after that, that that he got cast as Pegasus in Yu-Gi-Oh. Wow. And okay. if, if you listen to the to the recording of Pokemon Live, you, you'll be like, yep, it's Pegasus, because it's, it's the same person. And then um, D. Rossioli... Who played Elphaba for so many years on the Wicked tour? I don't remember if she was on Broadway. I know she was on the, the tour and played her in, in the, the Chicago. Chicago. Anyway, she was Delia in Pokemon Live. I will always be a fan of anyone who plays <laughs> Elphaba. And then um, Andrew Reynolds um, played James, and then he has. I think he, I want to say he also. I want to say he also. Was dubbing Pokemon briefly, like in one season. What was he? Was he? I, I want to say, I don't. For some reason, my, I want to say he played Harley. I could be wrong, but in like the Hoenn, whatever Hoenn stuff, I want to say he played Harley, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Don't hate me if I was wrong. But then of course, you know, he went on for to do bigger productions like um, the Book of Mormon and whatnot. And then um, I have to think of anybody else. I don't know. Oh. I, I know there, I know there, there are um, several people in the production who went on to do bigger things, and, and I'm just like, I'm just like, see, you get, you have to, you know, you have to start with smaller productions, and then you go down to bigger things. I know the guy who played Ash in Pokemon Live um, did other work for four kids. Like, there's this one song in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Music to Duel by album where he sings. It's the song "We'll Be There," which is about, which is um, supposed to be sung by Taya and Tristan, I think. They're singing about like being there for your friends, you know. Think of us and we'll be there in your heart forever. So I would, I think I would. Wow, make that a sounds very, really good. <laughs> I think I would make a very good Taya if someone made a Yu-Gi-Oh musical. So. So Here, you hear I that? Vol I volunteer. Cast me. Someone, yes. Someone help me write. I will even help you write the music. Someone help me write a musical <laughs> musical, and I will be Taya. So I always be like. All right, you you heard her. Symbol, she she could probably do it. I believe her. I'll take a sharpie. This is the symbol of our friendship.